Welcome to cold and flu season. We're about to head into the kitchen so I can share with you my tips and tricks for fighting the flu and trying to stay healthy this year. I'm also going to try out a few home remedies to see if it's worth keeping in your medicine cabinet this year. And let me remind you that I am no doctor. I'm no dietitian. I'm just a regular old mom who tries to keep a family of five alive and healthy. Before I share with you all of the tips and tricks, let me show you what not to do. Number one, unhealthy foods. Processed foods are full of sugar and lots of sugar equals inflammation. Another thing to avoid if you have a bunch of mucus or if you're really stuffed up, you might want to avoid dairy. Something like almond milk is great. Stay away from the alcohol because alcohol equals sugar. Sugar equals inflammation. Although I sort of feel like some grandmas might be mad at that because I know people that swear by a little bourbon and honey for a sore throat. I'm no judge. Finally, if you are fighting that stomach flu, you might want to avoid the spicy foods. While this might be helpful in opening up nasal passages if you have a cold, spicy foods are not gonna be so easy on the tummy. Now let's talk about the foods that we can eat. Now you know the number one go-to food that mama's gonna run and make as soon as you tell her you're sick is chicken soup. There's something magical in this little pot of gold, okay? First of all, it's got a delicious broth that has protein, it gives you calories, and it just makes you feel good. Also, the heat from the liquid opens up your nasal passages and it provides you with some hydration. So I am a firm believer in chicken soup when you're sick. Now that being said, it doesn't have to be homemade. So a way I like to kind of zhuzh up my canned soup is to saute some of the same flavors that might be in the soup, like carrot, and I add a little garlic because it's healing and it's just good. So I'm gonna saute that in a little bit of butter because it's butter. And then at the end, I just like to add a little more salt if it's not too salty already. And then sometimes I just like to finish it off with a little bit of fresh herbs, like parsley, it's not gonna affect the flavor, but it just kind of brightens it up, and a little squeeze of lemon juice. That looks pretty good. It definitely tastes better than when it came straight out of the can. Mm, it's perfect. Another way to cheat the chicken soup remedy is to buy some good bone broth, and then just maybe add in a little bit of orzo pasta, or some rice, or some noodles, or some chopped up chicken. It doesn't have to be complicated. Next, have you ever heard of the BRAT diet? BRAT stands for bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. This is a great method to follow if you have the stomach flu. These things are easy to digest and they're easy on the stomach. Um, they're pretty mild in flavor, so you're on your way to a more settled stomach. This next tip is key to preventing illness as well as staying healthy while you're sick. Stay hydrated. It's good to choose things that are low in sugar and that don't have caffeine because those things can upset your stomach. So it's good to try things that have electrolytes in them. So that will keep you from being dehydrated if you've had um, more of a stomach type illness. Along those same lines, another great thing to keep in your diet or to keep a supplement on hand is zinc. Zinc also has electrolytes, so it's gonna just help repair the body. If you don't do supplements, you can also find zinc in foods like legumes and red meat. A few other ingredients in the kitchen that are known to fight and help prevent illnesses are things like honey, garlic, and ginger, and I'm going to show you how to incorporate these in some home remedies that are very popular across the internet, so I'm going to try them out to see if they're worth, like I said, keeping in your kitchen medicine cabinet this year. I'm going to start with those super concentrated punch of immune boosters and you can find those in these little shots that are in the refrigerated section. The problem with these is that they're expensive. This is like two or three dollars, but I'm gonna share with you my favorite recipe for our ginger wellness shots. It starts with three lemons, and then a third cup of ginger that you've chopped up, then some water to help blend it all together, a little honey for sweetness, and some cayenne pepper. When you go to drink this, you're gonna dilute it with a little bit of water each time you take a little shot. This is gonna give you that good burn. Bottoms up. All right, and then when it's time to pour yourself a shot, you just pour 
a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And then do about equal parts water. Cheers. Woo! It's just good. I guess I'll go ahead and tell you my number one remedy cure is go to sleep and get plenty of rest. All right, this next home remedy has been made famous by a well-known YouTuber named Cowboy Kent. He has this remedy that is perfect for sore throats, strep throats, severe sinus infections. Okay, so he makes a simple paste with three ingredients, all of which are healing ingredients, okay? He starts by crushing a garlic clove into your garlic press. He suggests just take a teaspoon of this a couple times a day, um, or you can just put it on a cracker. Then he takes a jalapeno, which is full of vitamins, okay? It's got a lot of great vitamins. And then that heat in there will open up your nasal passages. So he says cut off a piece like this, and also put that in your garlic press. To that, you add raw honey. He says it needs to be raw, and the best kind of honey for when you've got allergies is that which you can find in your area, your local honey, because it will fight those allergies that are in your area. Okay, and then about a tablespoon of raw honey. He says just eat a teaspoon of this. Here goes nothing. Spicy garlicky, but also kind of good. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping a batch of this sitting around just for a couple spoonfuls a day or a week. Cowboy Kent, good job in the home remedy. Okay, so this remedy is creating your own aromatherapy experience to help open up your congestion. Start with some citrus or orange rinds. I've got some, a little bit of water in a pot. Got some orange peel and some herbs. I thought some mint and some rosemary might be good. And then I'm gonna add some salt. All right, so my plan is to bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna get it nice and steamy, turn it off and put my head over it with a towel and I'm going to breathe in the aromas and open up my sinuses. This smells so good. Okay, so I've got a good um, steam coming, which you can probably see. I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'll see y'all soon. I guess you just do this so that the steam can be under here. This is nice. Okay, the at-home aromatherapy is an A+. Try this one. All right, for my final trick, I'm going to show you a DIY version of Starbucks's um, medicine ball. It is supposed to be a foolproof, all around, perfect cure for those sore throats and again, that um, congestion. Okay, so all we are going to do is take peppermint tea. To the hot tea, we'll just add some honey and lemon. Wow, that's pretty good. It's definitely not as overpowering as I thought it was gonna be. Um, the DIY medicine ball is probably a lot less expensive and a lot less sugar concentrated than the one you get at Starbucks. From the at-home aromatherapy spa to the ginger shots to even the paste made out of raw garlic and jalapenos, I'm glad I tried these home remedies and I definitely think you should this cold and flu season. For more videos like this, don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Stay healthy, friends. I feel like I'm in a sauna or a spa. This definitely works, okay? It just makes you feel better, period.